So today, I decided to turn a sketch on paper into an interactive art piece using Unity, Augmented Reality, and Vuforia. The goal is to see how awesome I can make a simple drawing and push the idea of combining technology and art as far as I possibly could. At the end of the little journey, I ended up with a sketch of a character named QB, an AR app for my Android phone, and a pretty cool experience to play with. I started off by sketching out a box and turned it into a cube. I really wanted to keep the drawing simple and sweet. With my style, I always start my drawings with simple shapes. Circles, squares, triangles. I wanted to make sure that the drawing had a 3D nature to it so that the 3D model I chose fit with the illustration. But we all know that the simplest things go the furthest. And so, why not? I was pretty pleased with how it turned out though. Afterwards, I decided to scan the image to the computer. And so at first I tried to make, take a few pictures and they just didn't really end up to my liking, unfortunately. So I ended up downloading Adobe Scan, since I have an Adobe subscription, and I used the scanner to make a good snapshot. I then sent it to the computer with Dropbox and opened it up in Photoshop. In Photoshop, I cropped the image so that it matched the original size of the original drawing. And this is very crucial because with image targets and augmented reality, the image needs to be the same proportions as the reference image to recognize properly. Also added some contrast to make the image more recognizable. Once the image was done, I opened up Unity Hub, made a new project, changed to Android build support in the build settings, and imported the Vuforia SDK. Vuforia is an easy way to start with AR and Unity and has really good image tracking support. After the install, I added the AR camera, deleted the main camera, and added an image target game object in the hierarchy. In the inspector for the image target, I set the type to from image and added the illustration to the image target. In the advanced tab, I made sure the image size was converted to meters. Inches is much smaller than meters and I didn't want to make this a, a really messy scale. I then added a 3D cube to the image target and placed it as a child in the image target game object. This allows the AR content to appear when the image reference is recognized by the app. Afterwards, I started adding some interactions to the app to make the art more interactive. I first started by adding a canvas and a panel to work as a backdrop for the UI. I made the panel opaque gray. I then added some sliders and text for a rotate function and a scale function. I kept it simple because I was just trying to demo out the concept and not a fully fleshed out app. If anything, I could have spent hours on this design. And maybe I will in the future project, but for now I just wanted to whip something up really quick. When the UI was done, I started scripting. So I put together a simple scale script that references the slider value. The X, Y, and Z transforms of the 3D object would be based on the same value from the slider. And so if the slider was one, then the X, Y, and Z values would be one in the transform. In the update function, I used the transform.local scale. For the rotation script, I pretty much did the same thing. I set the script in the update function to use the local Euler's angle and the X and the Z were set to zero. And then the Y was referencing the slider value on the slider for the rotation. After the scripts were done, I put all the scripts on the empty game object and put the 3D model in the empty game object as well. I added some sliders to the reference script area and tested it out. It worked pretty fine, but I really wanted to spruce it up a little bit more. Remember, we're trying to make an awesome, simple, interactive AR masterpiece. It really just got really ambitious from there. So I put my animator hat on, I opened up the timeline, I locked the timeline in the top right corner. I added an animation controller by pressing the create button, then started animating. Animation on objects is really, really simple. All you have to do is just make sure that the object is selected, press the red button in the timeline, move the objects to make a keyframe, 
then move to the end of the timeline and copy that keyframe. And now all you have to do is just move to the different areas on the timeline, place objects in different areas on the screen using the transform tools. And when you're done, you just press the red button again, and then you close the animation. It's pretty simple. Once the animation was done, I made a UI button on the canvas, set the press color to red so that I know when I pressed it, and then added the cube onto the on-click settings so that the animation plays from the playable director on that cube. Now that all the pieces were done, I finally had an app. I exported out the project to my phone, played around with it for a little bit with the new interactive AR masterpiece, and enjoyed it. You know, it was definitely a, a nice little thing. I probably could have added some faces and stuff to the 3D cube, but I really, really suck with UV wrapping and stuff. And so maybe for another time. If you like this fun little quirky project and the journey, make sure to check out the course on Skillshare where I walk you through the whole process from start to finish. I'm running a little promo so you could have access to the course. So check out the links in the description. If you don't want to sign up for a free course, you could check out one of the access codes. I only have a hundred of them, so make sure to get it while you can. And so if you like this, support your boy. If not, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're interested in learning more about augmented reality, you could check out my free course. It's on Gumroad, focuses on art, tech, and activism in augmented reality. And it really is an intro course that teaches you how to make an AR app without code. Check out all my courses on Skillshare. Check out Doodle Life. Check out the AR books that I make with Island Fever and Iltopia Studios. Support me on Patreon if you feel inclined to. If anything else, just follow me on social media. On Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram.